Hey everyone, it's KIMTV and today we are doing a quick tutorial on how to look pretty on a budget with one of my favorite brands of beauty products, e.l.f. You can buy it just about anywhere, Walmart, Walgreens, Wahoo, do you or know what else? what I really look like, some type of face toner. You don't have to, if this isn't in your budget, you don't want to pass some on it. Some type of moisturizer and also your whole face, and you know what I do? Go down my throat and on my chest to our chest kind of takes a beating because we don't take care of it, okay? Now remember, what I'm doing is an everyday, everyday makeup tutorial. This is not an Instagram, how high can we go, how glitter can we go? This is a normal working girl's gotta get to work makeup. Found out about this. This is mineral. See, you can tell it's an older woman's video because I can't even read what's on here. You know, that'd be a beauty brand to make in big letters. We need our letters like this. Okay, so this is a mineral infused face primer. Okay, I just learned about this. You know, I'm not a big fan of all the layers, but anyway, what you do, just squirt a little, just a tiny bit. You know, a lot of us overuse our beauty products. I use these two little fingers. I'm not a spongy brush kind of girl when it comes to that. Put your primer on and what this does is it fills in the potholes. <laughs> and after all the money I've spent having my potholes fixed, I still have a few. But anyway, over your nose, anywhere you might have some uh, potholes or places your foundation might not be perfect. Because remember, our goal here is to look like what we don't look like, okay? All right, now that we've got the pothole, you know that's really what they should call this, pothole fixer. A little dab will do ya. Look, just, I mean, we really do overuse this. Oh, it's getting, that little tiny dab, that's all we really need for our foundation. Now remember, don't be getting uh, fussy and grumpy if you're like, oh my God, she's not using one of them puffy puff 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 sponges. Uh, my brush is donated. I'm not scared to use other people's makeup. Oh my God, I know you guys are just gonna go crazy on that. You can't use other people's makeup, you can't. Yes, you can. Let's just have a side talk, girls. What we did before we got married, we ain't worried about using someone else's blush, brush. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so I just take a little, my husband got me, this is MAC. So I just kind of put a little powder on just to kind of tighten up the potholes. <laughs> just a little powder. I'm really a fan of concealer. I never have been. Um, I don't really understand it. But anyway, so what I do, look, this was in donation, so I just grabbed it, and I got my little brush here. Now, this is one of the things that I like to do. I like to take a little powder and just go under my eye like this. Uh, I like powder better because uh, foundation gives me creases, okay? So just try this. Just go right under your eye, and then what I do it up here, I use it so then my eyeshadow goes on a little nicer, and just quickly go under, close your eye, you know, just a roundabout, nothing perfect, nothing perfect, okay? See, already it's starting to make the eye look a little brighter. Okay, right cover back. girl, you know, I'm Walmart, Walgreens kind of girl. Uh, I'd rather save my money for Botox. <laughs> oh, anyway. So I just go right under with my um, eyeliner. And yes, I have had all this tattooed. I've had the, uh, and you know, I really can't see, you know, guys, I can't see really what I'm doing because I normally use my big girl mirror over here. That's like one of those big ones like that. So uh, we're going to see how this comes out without, oh, ah! under the eye because that's the way I like it. And then moving along, I got this brush. This is my eyeshadow brush. I don't get all technical. I just go over here and get some cream and just go to town and just kind of throw it in there like that. See, just kind of make the lid look a little lighter. I know you professional people are like, oh my God, but just wait for the results. You ain't gotta be perfect. Okay, see, I think we got the eye, light, eye, um, eye shadow done. Okay, let's see. Oh, I need some Botox. Okay. Now right back. what I've done here is I just put on a little colored eyeshadow for some fun. Uh, I like that the girls are wearing these different colors. So then I just kind of put it in there, you know, and then I'll mush it all around or blend it or whatever you call it. Now, looky here again, Elf, okay? I think this thing was $3. This uh, Milani, oh, I think you're supposed to do it like this, like Instagram. I just play it. I'm just trying to be cool. But you're supposed to put your hand behind it like this. But these two are great brands at your local Walgreens, Walmart, whatever your drugstore is. And they're, gro they're, they're good. They're great. On a budget, give them a try. Elf, 
Milani. Save yourself some money on something else that you really want. And then I'll come back in just a second. And you know what I'm doing next? Brows. Guess what brand? They should do commercials with, with us older girls. Elf. Eyes, lips, and face. Bet you didn't know that. Here's what my brows look like before, and then I'll show you after. I am not that picky about my brows. Okay, I'm back. See, I did my brows. I'm not that picky about brows. What I'm picky about is my eyelashes. I've been that way since high school, and those of you that know me since high school know that. Now, if you'll notice, some of the eyeshadow did drop because some, I think the makeup artist put the eyeshadow on first, but I don't. If you look close, you'll see a little bit of eyeshadow. So what I do is just take the powder again and just go like this real quick. Let me look in the mirror over there because i got to see what I'm doing. And this just wipes that extra shadow off. Yeah. Luckily, I don't have any problems with any um, bags under my eyes. I did have an upper eye lift 12 years ago, 13 years ago, something like that. I'm 53, just in case you want to know. My name's Sally O'Malley. I'm 50, and I like to kick, stretch, and kick. Next is eyes. I always, 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 always use the eyelash curler ever since high school. You girls that know me from high school know that. And guess what? My eyeliner. <laughs> girls, save money where you can, okay? Because you can spend it on other places if you know what I'm saying. Okay, next thing's mascara. That's where I'm picky. I used to be a L'Oreal Voluminous girl. I go back and forth, really. But my new favorite I've been using for a couple of years now is L'Oreal Butterfly. Yes, I bought the expensive stuff. No, don't send me any multi-level messages about anything when it comes to, well, anything. Okay, next, eyelashes. Okay. The lashes are done. The lashes are my favorite part. I'm a nut about my lashes and my lips. I like a lip liner, lipstick, and lashes. If I had to go with only two products, they would be making sure my eyelashes are done. Yes, those are my real eyelashes. I'm not a big fan of fake lashes at all. I just don't want, uh, as you can tell, I'm... I don't want the maintenance of it. Doesn't make it wrong. I love the way that the girls look on Instagram. It's just not my cup of tea. Remember, I'm trying to show you how to do a gotta get to work, wanna look nice, quick 12 minute makeup tutorial that's affordable. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Right? Products that you can afford that are great products, okay? Next, we got lips and blush. Hang on. Always line all of your lip, okay? Um, that's what I did. Uh, outlined my lip, and then fill the whole thing in with the same shade. I, I, It's just my opinion, but I'm like a little like, oh, when I see girls wear the lip liner a different color than the lipstick, I heard that that um, had passed, you know, that we're beyond that. So, um, hang on. You want to go over the liner with your lipstick. Again, I hope this is coming out right. And guess what? Elf! And then the last thing we do here is grab our blush brush. And I'm not picky about blush. I just put a little on my cheek, you know. I still don't know how to do that shading on the nose thing. I just put a little there because you're supposed to. Um, you know, this is get to work makeup. Uh, some of that contouring is amazing though, but my God, I would go crazy if I had that much makeup on. And honestly, when I wear more makeup like that, uh, the lines on my face show more. Now see, I'm, I'm not editing anything. You're seeing what my skin looks like at 53. I maintain it really well. I'm a big fan of TCA pills. Okay, we'll get back to that in a minute. Stay tuned. Here's the final product. I don't get my hair colored. Um, I just don't enjoy the time and money it takes to invest in that glamorous look. Don't get me wrong, I love the glamorous look. I just don't like getting my nails done. I don't like the maintenance. I don't like getting my hair colored. And I surely don't like getting my hair cut. I, That's just me. But don't get me wrong, don't be hating. Um, I'm just showing you how to look beautiful on a budget. This is the um, end result. I cut my own bangs and this is what it looks like. Let's see if we can And this is what it looks like when it's all done. <laughs> My husband just brought me home this shirt. Oh, no racing this year. Uptown white girl problems. Catch you later.